Did you know the Perception Neuron guys have a free add-on that goes directly from Axis Neuron to Blender? Huh. Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3 d and let's kind of go through this add-on and how to use it. Now, there's some very cool and important tips in this video, so you've got to pay attention to a lot of it, kind of matching a rig to a motion capture rig and kind of doing all that jazz. We actually have to edit the mesh a little bit, do poses, apply poses, so on and so forth. There's actually a lot of to cover here, but once you've done it once, should be sweet. So anyway, let's get into the video. So once you've downloaded the add-on from the link in the description, we go into edit, preferences, install, downloads. We find the location of our file will be this beta zip one. Let's go install add-on. Let's give it a tick. Beautiful. Close that. Press N. And there we go. We have it on our right hand side. Now let's go ahead and add in our armature. Shift A. Down the bottom here, select which version of the Perception Neuron you have. Now I've got the Pro version. So that's this one here. Over here in the top right hand side, we can see the server. I have the Pro one. So we make sure we got that one selected. Protocol. Now I use TCP. Now I'll show you where this information is. From in here, we go File, Settings, into Broadcasting, TCP or UDP. I use TCP purely for the fact is because I've got iClone 7 and I don't want to have to keep changing settings constantly. So I'm just going to leave it as TCP. General, this will be my IP address. So let's select that. Uh, TCP, put in the IP, connect. Bam. Let's now jump over into Access Software, press play. We can see we've got a dancing person and nothing's happening. Let me just turn that on. Still nothing's happening. Let me update the character name with avatar 00, enter. There we go. So where I got the avatar name from was right here. And what I'm using is one of the default animations that comes with the Access Software because it's kind of hard to do this and record tutorial whilst wearing the suit and sitting down, blah, blah, blah. So we're just going to be using this for now. So we've got our character going. So let's just stop that. From here, I'm going to go File, Import, FBX. Let's bring in my Unreal Engine mannequin. I believe it's this one. Beautiful. Let's just get rid of all those extra meshes. There we go, Delete. So there we go. For those of you who are UE4 people, you know and love and understand this poor chap. Now, this is actually interesting because it's actually a little bit more difficult because this guy is in an A pose where the neuron information is actually in a T pose. So we actually have to go ahead and kind of like re-rig, oh, sorry, repose the character, which it's going to be a bit of a pain. So we're going to do our best to get it right first time round. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to rotate the guy's leg in a smidgen, rotate the guy's leg in a smidgen. Let's go with that. From here, let's kind of line this back up. So the arm will be something like that. Well, actually, no, let's kind of line up the wrist. So something from there. From here, let's bring the arm back let's do our best so let's do that again let's go rotate something like that bring this arm back around bring this hand there we go so that's not too bad we are making our lives like i said a little bit difficult what i might do is just rotate this one up and rotate this one up. So they're all on a semi line. We'll bring this arm back. So what I'm trying to do is just get a straight line going through here. I can see that this arm is a little bit off. So we're gonna have to manually kind of rotate it around like so. I'm just trying to get a line. Yep, let's rotate this one back down and something like that. Now, the problem is, is we got to make this a rest pose. Now, if I want to go control A and apply it as a rest pose, we'll see that the mesh is deformed. That's no good to us. So let's go control Z. So what we've got to do is go into object mode, select our mesh, 
come over into armatures and we're going to go control a to apply our armature then we go re-add that armature we'll select our armature there we go his hands go up or his arms go up that's fine because now when we come into our um armature and go control a and apply the pose he goes back lovely right now this is the kind of yucky bit like i said if you're going to rig a character just try and use the rig that comes with the motion capture data because it will just make your life easier and this point here will be much much simpler so let's go into object mode from here the drive type will be retarget be live let's mark it as a t pose the source will be the pn pro which is this chap and now from here what we need to do is kind of a realign or sorry make a reference to the other armature so pelvis I don't know which one's pelvis. So we might have to go backwards and forths. What's this one? This is spine zero. This one here is pelvis. So we could probably make the pelvis the root because everything follows the pelvis. So let's do that. Pelvis can go to root, which isn't there. I believe then it is the hip. Yep, hip. So we can read it up here. All right hip and then we got to go spine spine one spine two clavicle i think your left shoulder there we go let's go left arm left forearm left hand now i'm not going to worry about doing the fingers for this this doesn't have any twists there we go. There's our right clavicle. So let's go right shoulder, right arm, right forearm, right hand. Oops, no space. Down to the bottom, we've got a neck, we've got a head, we've got oh, left arm up leg yep left leg yep there we go cool we're getting there left foot now obviously these are always going to be different depending on your rig up right leg right foot da -da -da -da. that to me is good enough now hopefully Hopefully now when I press play over here, it's going to look good. Hey, <laughs> so there we have it. We've kind of rigged him up. Now, obviously we can see that these arms are a bit off. Now that's because the scale of the armatures are obviously a little bit different, but that's fine. You can just see how well we have, um, lined everything up. Obviously with the hands, we could redo the hands so that we've got all the finger motions. This is one of the good reasons why it might be a good idea to have that same rig. That way we don't have, you don't have to worry about all that fluff. Also, if you were to click auto detect, everything would just fill out for yourself. I'm kind of hoping that there's gonna be a auto save function list. So if, you're bring, if you are bringing in characters from somewhere else that you can just apply that list and it just fixes up that jazz really quick. But there we go, we now have a character. The other thing we can do from here is press record. Oh, and let's press play. Hopefully it's just recording all the steps. Stop record. Let's press, there we go. Okay, now stop. Let's just pause that over here. Um, let's select our other armature, hide that. And so now we have recorded that anim uh, the animation, brought it into Blender, you little ripper. I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. And now we can start going in and, you know, start posing, go into the animation tab. Let's come change this into the graph editor. And then we can just go to town. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so support the channel, like, subscribe, do all that jazz, help me out, yada, 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 dab.
So there we have it. You can now set up your perception neuron to be linked straight into Blender. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. It really helps me out. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. If there's any other tutorials that you want me to look at or learn something, please let me know. And until next time, yeah, let's go with that.